It's Throwback Thursday as we celebrate 70 years on the air in West Michigan. Each week, we're going back on the road with Dick Evans. This week, he takes us inside the historic Kindle Furniture Factory in Grand Rapids. The story first aired on June 22, 1982. Kindle, in many ways, looks like a Grand Rapids furniture factory of years ago. Hand craftsmen tediously chipping away with chisels because the firm feels strongly machinery cannot provide the clarity or depth of feel to reproduce furniture exactly as it should be. Much work is being done on copying furniture obtained from H.F. DuPont called the Winterthur. We either carve it or as you're seeing, as you've seen, we uh, emboss it uh, and we try to stay with the way the original craftsmen built the piece. Our business is the production of authentic products from the past and we try to do it authentically. Do you make anything that you can call original of your own? Uh, no. Uh, we take all of our designs from the past, from the uh, work of the old masters. You got quite a few masters around here, though. They're they're so family-like compared to to most uh, factories. Well, this man will take all day to produce only two of these. It's a drawer front. We watched as this man tested, sanded, retested eight times to make sure the fit of this tiny drawer was perfect. Kendall has another line of craftsmen, artists, and like their counterparts. Their work is slow, but perfect. No two designs are the same. We're trying to build a core of craftsmen here that can present to the consumer a proper and accurate reflection of our American heritage. And when we secured the Winotour license, the license to reproduce the antiques at the Winotour Museum, he was very interested in Winotour. And when he learned that that collection was about to be reproduced by an American company, he approached us. Mm -hmm. And we could not have done the program without him, I, I must say. And he's trained all of those people in there. He's trained uh, 16 people. And here are some of the finished pieces. Getting the exact bulge in this item was extremely time consuming. Here is the drawer front we showed earlier. And this is the end product. So beautiful, I ate to get fingerprints on it. It will soon be shipped to Marshall Field in Chicago. It is the most expensive of all the items in this collection. The price will be something like $12,000. Dick Evans, News Center 8. And 38 wow. years later, Kindle is still making some of the highest quality furniture anywhere in the country. They are now located at the corner of Eastern and 40th in Grand Rapids, employing 64 people. I wonder what that stuff is worth now. Oh, just so beautiful.